up welders welcome to another episode of adventures in welding i'm paul thanks for joining me in this episode we're going to be using the eastwood mig 250 and another one of my five-way practice joints we've got the uh open root butt joint t joint lap joint corner joint and the last time we did this we did it in the horizontal position Today, we're going to be doing it in the vertical position. I've got 025 wire in here. My settings are 18 volts and about 215 inches per minute on the wire speed, about 25 CFM on the 75 25 gas. Got my torch set with about 3 8 inch stick out let's get set up and do it the outside corner joint this is going to be a vertical up simple weave ain't nothing to it but to do it right T-joint or corner joint, and I'm going to increase my amps and my volts just a tiny little bit so I can get some good penetration in there. Open root butt. at our outside corner joint you see I had a little stop and start there a 
Next up is our lap joint. Not bad. Then we have our fillet joint. open root butt joint there's the inside of our corner joint good penetration as you can see and there is the back side of our open root butt not quite getting it in the penetration department if we can get in close I don't think the camera can see that I'd say we got about 75 percent penetration there well that's about it for this episode of adventures in welding we tackled some MIG welding in the vertical up position using the Eastwood MIG 250. That's quite a powerful welder. It runs on 115 or 220. It is spray art capable and comes with a spool gun attachment if you're of the aluminum persuasion. Now, I don't want to beg. But uh, you see on there, on my uh, YouTube page, I've got a little patronage thing. If you guys want to kick in a buck or two, steel gets a little bit expensive. And if you like these videos, kick in a buck or two. We'll buy some more steel. We'll make some more videos. If nothing else, you get to laugh at me and make fun of my welds, right? But thanks for watching. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm at 265 subscribers today. I need to get to 500 so that I can get my own YouTube channel name instead of having some long drawn out string of bullshit numbers. So tell your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time on Adventures in Welding.